Hello everyone, Wildcat Piper coming from the Wildcat Lounge. Happy 2019. Hope you guys are having a great start to your new year. Um, I had to get kind of organized out of here. We got a lot of stuff I want to do here tonight. So uh, stand by. I'm excited because one of the things I've been wanting to do is do my Codger review. So in uh, 2019, I'm going to be smoking some Codger blends. And at the end of the month, I'm going to do a review on those blends. You guys can join me and come along uh, the journey with me. I'd love to see some videos of your all's own review of these blends. I know some of you may have already smoked these. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily have to go out and buy one. Just do a review at the end of the month. It'd be great. It'd be great to see those. So I thought today we would do kind of a first impressions of our January month blend. And as you can see here, these are the, this is all my Kaja stuff right here. Um, this was a popcorn tin I bought from the, the uh, Boy Scouts. It was full of popcorn, which is now long gone. <laughs> and in it I have put my 2019 Kaja blends, including in that, didn't have room, is the Prince Albert. And of course, I couldn't have fit this big jar of uh, gr uh, Granger in it. So those are included in, in this. But in here, these are my Kaja blends that I'm going to be smoking and uh, reviewing here in, in 2019. So the month of January, this is what we're going to review. And uh, I'm excited about this blend, heard a lot about it. Um, of course, we have a member in our YTPC that is a very, uh, would probably be the CEO of Velvet, <laughs> and the CEO and the mayor of Codgerville. And uh, so I, my first uh, Codger blend is going to be Velvet. Um, I wanted to do an opening right here on um, in my videos so that you know that I have not uh, done anything pre-packaging. This is literally going to be a first impressions because I also have never tried um, these Kaja blends and Velvet is one of them and I know people probably wouldn't believe that. And so we're going to open this up. Uh, this is my SOG, kind of new. Um, it's, a, it's one of my EDCs but uh, I like it. And uh, so, so this really is truly a first impressions of Velvet. I've never had it, never have, and uh, as our good friend Berg would say. And so here is my first bag interpretation, maybe. There we go. Okay, there's the velvet itself. I just opened the bag up inside. It's got a uh, kind of a molasses, maybe. Really, really, really smells good. Um, I was going to go on uh, tobacco review, but I didn't want to because I don't want to be um, swayed. Uh, so this is really an untrained nose. <laughs> but uh, smells very, very good. I will tell you that um, it does say on here, made from Kentucky Burley. Uh, from sun ripened Kentucky Burley tobacco, aged to give a round and original velvet taste. So it's Kentucky Burley. There is a topping on it, but I can't completely unless it's like a molasses caramel kind of thing. But anyway, smells great. So um, the pipe that I'm using tonight is 
a uh, bolsa. It says D Boston Balsa. This is the very first pipe I ever bought. Um, so this goes back to the mid 1990s. Uh, when I first tried pipe smoking, and I, it, I just wasn't having a great success with it, and I got away from it, and I really began to smoke um, cigars mostly. But uh, so this is this is my oldest pipe. So I thought I would use this as the initial um, pipe taste, the initial of all my of uh, all my uh, Kaja blends. So I'm going to go ahead and put some in there. Um, moisture content in this is almost perfect. Um, and I would say... It's almost like a confetti cut. Maybe, but um, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm sitting here <laughs> enjoying this velvet. Look up and poof, you're gone. Um, but uh, I was sitting here smoking this, and I really, really enjoying it. I've been doing. Uh, kind of the retro hails with it and one of the things that uh, I can really tell right off the bat is for me whenever I get a really good burly blend I can taste kind of that attic antique kind of a uh, on the retro hail especially um, I don't know maybe you burly guys know what I'm talking about but But uh, I can taste that in the retro hail. Um, but it is it is really really good. Uh, I understand the high, and I can understand why Ben liked it so much um, because it is it is just a really really s smooth. Um, I, uh, I've heard people say it's not very complex, and I agree with that. It's not a complex blend. There's not a lot of stuff going on in it. It's just just kind of a very smooth, kind of a tasting blend, um, it, which kind of makes it easy to sit back and just smoke. I mean, I, I really like it. And I'm really looking forward to uh, having you a lot more... Uh, bowls of this I was talking uh, how I listened to a video by D Social D and he was going over his um, 2018 tobacco blends and there was one particular tobacco blend that he brought up that I thought that really sounds very interesting because it was a Red Virginia and I really wanted to try it um, and it is the crumble cake the Red Virginia Crumble Cake, uh, Crumble Cake Red Virginia, I guess. And so I was really wanting to uh, give that a shot, and um, and and see and see what this uh, what this is about. So this is a Sutliff blend, and um, it is a uh, Red Virginia's pressed into a crumble cake. Uh, I've not opened it yet, so I don't really know what that means. I'm looking forward to doing that, and we'll probably do that on maybe the next video that I do here this month. Um, but I'm also going to be smoking of this blend, which is my Codger <laughs> review blend for January, which is Velvet.
I think the reason why people like this so much is because it is very non-complex. You don't have to sit here and think about what's going on in it. Um, it's a no fool you kind of a burly blend. But it's a very good burly blend. Tell you what, I've had a couple of really nice burly blends for 2019 so far. And I'm really looking forward to maybe trying some more burlies this month, this year. But so far, uh, Velvet may be my favorite. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny to me that that molasses is gone. Like when I smoke, uh, I think um, Sleepy Hollow has some molasses in it, and I can really taste that. It might be because there's some caramels and other things in it. Maybe that's what it, it's more complex. So I taste all of that, but I really seriously just taste the burly in this. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Mm. This right here will not be enough for me. <laughs> It'll be nice carrying that around and smoking it from time to time, but I have to get me a tub of that because it is really nice. So, so we're off and running with our Kaja review. This month is Velvet. And at the end of this month, I will uh, give you my two cents. And it, believe me, it'll only be worth two cents. <laughs> um, there are guys out there that could really break this blend down better for you. But I'm going to tell you why I like it, why I don't like it what I like about it if there's anything I don't like about it I'll, I'll share that too I will say this much I'm not a big fan of the confetti cut if that's what they call this um, but this this has not been a problem it's lit well it has stayed lit but it's not gotten pulled into my mouth It's good. So you guys have a great evening. Blow some smoke rings in the air. Enjoy your velvet if that's what you're smoking tonight. But above all, my friends, be blessed. I will see you again here shortly. I'm enjoying this velvet. I'll talk to you soon.